With a ton of PlayStation games on PS Plus, some can eat up a lot of your time and may take forever to beat. But for busy gamers, we've picked out the top 20 PS Plus games you can crush in a weekend. Get ready for some quick and awesome adventures. Number 20 is Superliminal. Set in the mind of a doctor, players must navigate a series of perspective-based puzzles as they attempt to awaken from a deep sleep that gets progressively more surreal. Despite its simple premise, the game cleverly uses its dreamlike setting to create unique challenges that force players to see things from different perspectives. While the puzzles adhere to a core set of rules, the creative twists keep them fresh and engaging. Superliminal offers a satisfying challenge that won't drag on forever, clocking in at just three hours. This short but sweet experience stands out as one of the best indie puzzle games available on PS Plus. Number 19 is Matterfall, a side-scrolling shooter that shares the punishing and high-stakes gameplay of the roguelike game Returnal. In this explosively colorful arcade shooter, you must survive high-intensity side-scrolling war zones in vertical cities overrun by mysterious smart matter. Matterfall features a unique ability to create platforms out of thin air, adding an extra layer of strategy to the game. Though the game only lasts around four hours, it will keep daring you to come back and try to beat it once more. Number 18 is Erika. As far as full motion video adventure games go, Erika is certainly one of the stronger titles in the genre. Holly Earl delivers an impressive performance as the titular Erika Mason in this captivating psychological thriller. As it is designed to be played in a single sitting, you can see the credits roll in under two hours, although repeated playthroughs are recommended as the story branches in some interesting ways. Overall, Erika is a unique undertaking in the full motion video world that worked out well and has set new standards for the genre. It brings an engaging story to life with superb acting and enough interactive choices for the player to make it a cut above the rest in its genre. Number 17 is The Gardens Between, an innovative and charming puzzle game that follows two children as they go on a journey through their memories. Each level has a unique theme and structure, and the core gameplay introduces new ideas constantly throughout the short story. Rather than provide full control over the leads, the game allows players to manipulate time, allowing the children to move forward or backward. This needs to be done to carve a path to a level's end point. This short and simple adventure holds a lot of charm and offers a memorable and unique experience. The Gardens Between is imaginative and well-designed, making it one of the best short games on PS Plus. Number 16 is The Pedestrian. When it comes to discovering unique short platforming experiences, few can rival the originality of The Pedestrian. This 2D side-scrolling puzzle platformer transports you across 2D street signs in a 3D world. As a stick person, your only means of navigation is hopping from one street sign to the next. Naturally, this leads to a thrilling four-hour journey through skyscrapers, construction sites, sewers, and various other environments. With such a distinctive concept, The Pedestrian easily earns its place as one of the best short games available on PS Plus. Number 15 is Deliver Us the Moon. In a future where Earth has been depleted of its natural resources, humanity's last hope rests on the moon, where the discovery of helium-3, which is a critical isotope that promises to resolve the planet's crisis. Deliver Us the Moon offers an intriguing premise brimming with tension as it plunges players into an end-of-the-world scenario, amplifying the sense of isolation experienced by the protagonist. This game provides a relatively short yet captivating story-driven experience. Its gameplay primarily centers around exploration and puzzle solving. While the puzzles may not present significant challenges, they are well-crafted and engaging, enhancing the overall experience. Number 14 is Dead or Alive 5 Last Round, a captivating fighting game that will keep you on your toes as you battle your way to victory. With a robust roster of fighters, each boasting their own unique fighting styles and colorful outfits, players are presented with a diverse array of choices. Despite its merits, this game often receives unfair criticism due to the peculiar marketing surrounding Dead or Alive and the notorious Jiggle physics. The four-hour story mode is divided into a series of chapters that follow different characters and events from their perspectives. Dead or Alive 5 stands out as a stellar fighter 
offering epic battles and satisfying combos that many other fighting games fail to execute seamlessly. Number 13 is Thymesia, an impressive action RPG with amazing fast-paced combat and a complex plate weapon system, despite being developed by a relatively small team. While it excels in several areas, such as combat, it falls short in terms of level design. The game fully embraces the Souls-like subgenre, delivering a fast-paced and intentionally aggressive gameplay style where blocking isn't an option, requiring players to rely on dodging and mastering parrying. The protagonist wields plague weapons, which are generally enjoyable to use. The playthrough typically lasts about seven hours, and while regular combat is often a fun power fantasy, the game truly shines in its boss fights. Number 12 is Untitled Goose Game. This title simply offers pure chaos as players find themselves in a charming British village subjected to unimaginable horrors due to the arrival of a mischievous goose. As the adorable yet troublesome animal, players spread chaos across the town while solving puzzles and avoiding the grasp of perplexed humans. The game also supports local co-op, where adding a second goose doesn't significantly alter the campaign's objectives. Players can still enjoy working together to annoy the furious humans. Untitled Goose Game does not overstay its welcome since the campaign can easily be completed in just three hours. It is simply a delightful entry in the stealth and puzzle genres. Number 11 is My Friend Pedro. For those looking for something action-packed, albeit a bit strange, should check out this side-scrolling action and platforming shooter that sees players gunning their way through an array of enemies while taking orders from a sentient banana. Although the story is interesting, the combat is where this game really shines. Players will be able to flip and shoot their way through rooms, using focus to slow down time and gaining higher score modifiers for gracefully taking down foes. My friend Pedro delivers some really spectacular bullet time sequences, many interesting situations, and a variety of powerful weapons for you to use, all within a short four-hour runtime. If you're enjoying this video so far, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Number 10 is Last Stop, a game that could easily have been adapted into prestige television but instead presents itself as an artfully designed narrative adventure split between three protagonists. In one storyline, you follow a single father who finds himself body-swapped with his younger, wealthier neighbor. Another storyline focuses on a high school teenager whose friends inadvertently knock out and kidnap a man with enigmatic magical powers. Lastly, you follow a secret agent in the third story. The three tales together last around six hours and are all riveting in their own right, but nothing tops the final act when all three plots converge in a jaw-dropping conclusion. Number 9 is Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition, an over-the-top action romp featuring a space pirate armed with a whip that can tear enemies in half. This FPS, originally released in 2011 to decent reception, offers a throwback to classic run-and-gun shooters without the punishing difficulty. The Full Clip Edition adds a fresh coat of paint to ensure the game delivers beautiful mayhem. In Bulletstorm, you'll wade through hordes of enemies, all seemingly eager to meet their demise in countless silly ways and sporting smiles every step of the way. While the main story is relatively short, lasting only a few hours, Bulletstorm stands out as one of the most enjoyable FPS games on PS Plus Premium. Fans of the genre who missed out on this gem should definitely give it a try while it's available on Sony service. Number 8 is Maneater, a shark simulation game that may not seem like a fiercely competitive niche to dive into, but it offers a compelling concept. The game immerses you in the role of a shark seeking revenge after the producers of a shark hunting television program injure her and kill her mother. However, to grow large enough to exact your razor tooth vengeance, you must evolve and unlock new abilities by consuming fish and humans. Throughout the game, which typically lasts around eight hours, you'll face various challenges in your underwater adventures. From encounters with other predators to clashes with shark-hunting bounty hunters who aim to stop your pursuit of revenge. Yet perseverance is essential for a shark's survival in all endeavors. Overall, Maneater presents a unique simulation concept that is definitely worth exploring. Number 7 is Observation. This magnificent game unfolds entirely on a derelict space station, which is out of commission and trapped in low Earth orbit. 
While an astronaut is stranded there, you assume the role of an artificial intelligence program named SAM. Throughout observation, you spend most of your time hopping between cameras and manipulating technology. Your objective is to assist the astronaut in unraveling the mysteries behind the station's malfunction and their entrapment. Like the best hard sci-fi, the story concludes with an explanation that's as mind-blowing as it is entirely logical. Number 6 is Resident Evil 3. While this release may not receive as much praise as the Resident Evil 2 remake, it's still a nicely polished affair for fans of the series to enjoy. This time, we play as Jill Valentine as Raccoon City descends into chaos with hordes of zombies. Just like the predecessor, Jill has her own T-virus monstrosity following her every move. Nemesis is a gargantuan threat that relentlessly pursues Jill, and whenever he's on screen you must give him every ounce of your attention to avoid Jill's demise. Resident Evil 3 is often criticized for its short duration, but that can work to its advantage. Sometimes, we don't need a game that lasts dozens of hours, sometimes, we just want a refined and intense experience without overstaying its welcome. Number 5 is Ghost Runner, an exhilarating action game set in a grim cyberpunk megastructure. Players assume the role of a blade fighter on a mission to overthrow a tyrannical figure in this cyberpunk world. The game's main highlight is its lightning-fast and intense gameplay, where a single hit spells instant death for the player. With its narrowly focused and concise gameplay, Ghost Runner offers an adrenaline-fueled experience that demands quick decision-making, precise platforming, and a range of skills. The seamless combination of high-octane combat and challenging platforming sections creates a truly immersive experience that lasts around seven hours. Number 4 is Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, a game that follows two siblings on a perilous journey to find a liquid that can save their father. Although they do not always get along, they must work together if they want to have any hope of surviving this journey. Despite seemingly designed for co-op play, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons is a single-player game that assigns each thumbstick to a different protagonist. This unique design choice enhances the story by emphasizing the brothers' relationship. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons boasts good visuals, a compelling narrative, and sufficiently challenging puzzles. Narratively, the game delivers a powerful impact, crafting a three-hour journey focused on a specific tone and atmosphere that will linger in your thoughts long after completing it. Number 3 is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Ubisoft's games are renowned for their expansive worlds and lengthy campaigns, often spanning more than 40 hours, if not more. Yet, exceptions do exist, and if Blood Dragon is anything to go by, they should be more frequent. Blood Dragon seamlessly blends the solid first-person shooter gameplay of the main series with an over-the-top narrative straight out of 80s action movies. While naturally more streamlined, Blood Dragon still offers open areas that encourage exploration, although they're not as vast as those in other open-world games. For those seeking a Far Cry experience devoid of side activities, Blood Dragon is the perfect choice. Number 2 is Dreams. This entry refers to Art's Dream, Media Molecule's official story mode for Dreams. Like other games on this list, Art's Dream is short, but it's packed with variety within its two-hour runtime, showcasing the game's vast creation toolset. As a standalone experience, this is well worth playing, and with the gameplay changing throughout, you certainly won't get bored. Aside from the fantastic short story mode, Dreams is a wonderful game that encourages deep learning and imagination for those who truly want to create. It serves as a boundless canvas for players to unleash their creativity and bring their wildest dreams to life. Number 1 is Shadow of the Colossus. Blue Point Games has earned a reputation for delivering high-quality remakes, and the studio's 2018 rendition of Shadow of the Colossus is a treat for fans of Team Eco's PS2 classic. Retaining the core elements of the original version, the remake improves the visuals and controls, providing a faithful but modernized experience. Shadow of the Colossus drops players into a desolate world and gives them a straightforward task. Kill 16 roaming beasts to save the life of one girl. The forbidden land is haunting but sporadically beautiful, and while the map isn't that large, the game does a splendid job of making it feel epic. The main story of this veritable masterpiece should last around seven hours, and it is undoubtedly one of the greatest short games currently available on PlayStation Plus.
Thank you for joining us as we discovered the best short games on PS Plus. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, happy gaming!